John Myers of the Westmoreland Sports Network now joined by Ashley DeVito, the new head coach of the Norwin Knights girls soccer program. And first off, congratulations, Ashley. I know that this has had to be a very exciting time for you becoming the head coach of a, a very storied program, but it's not your first head coaching gig. You were at Penn Hills, your alma mater for quite a while. When you decided to apply for this position, what maybe stood out about your candidacy? What was appealing about you that ultimately led to you getting this job? All right. Well, thanks so much for having me. Yes, it's a super exciting opportunity. I'm very much looking forward to getting started. Um, I think that as I was going through the interview process, having seven years of high school coaching experience um, afforded me a great opportunity. Um, I was able to speak to the experiences I have had leading young women, um, as well as their families, booster organizations. I'm very familiar with how high school soccer works just because I've spent so much time um, within the Whippeal. Um, in addition to coaching at the high school level, I also have a great deal of experience at the club level. Currently, I'm with the Beedling Soccer Club. Um, so I think just the different experiences I have had working in different communities. Um, at the club level, I have worked with several players and coaches um, from the Norwin community. So it is a community that I am familiar with, and I'm excited to be involved more directly in a very very personal, personal level. Every player and parent that I've worked with from the community over the last decade or so has been fantastic. I had a lot of support um, from members of the community um, going through the interview process. So I'm just really excited to be able to get to know everybody a little bit better um, and try to get the program back on track. Well, you started your coaching career at Penn Hills, and that was right after you graduated at Edinburgh where you played. And so I'm sure that there was a lot that you learned, especially in those first few years when you were barely older than some of the players you were coaching. When you think back to your tenure with the Indians, what stands out about what you learned and how you grew? Oh, so much. Um, I, I can tell you my first game I ever coached ever um, at 22 years old, I did not even realize that I was supposed to bring copies of the roster for the press box and for the referees. I had to send co copies to my printer at home, run home and get them. And so even just little logistical operational things um, at at 22 years old, I knew so much about the game itself. I loved the game. I was passionate about the game. Um, and I was able to bring a competitive player's mindset to the table. But I had so much to learn about the operations and logistics of what it takes to actually run a program. There are so many things that go on behind the scenes um, to make a program function. Um, and so I learned so much over over my, my time there um, just – as far as what it takes to manage groups of people, um, manage all of the stakeholders, the players themselves, their families, um, work with the school district, work with the athletic director, the athletic trainers. Um, so I'm very fortunate that I was able to do that in my hometown with people that I trust and love, and I was able to grow up with them uh, for so long. So I, I was very fortunate to have the support of the Penn Hills community as I was going through that learning curve. Um, and now I feel so much more confident and prepared going into it in the Norman community. I know you said you were involved with club soccer as well, but you stepped away from Penn Hills a couple of years ago from the varsity program. What made now the right time to get back in and what made Norwin the right place? I stepped away um, originally from the high school scene because I transferred from an, a teaching position to an administrative position. As I was learning how to balance being an administrator, um, I figured that in order to really give my career, my absolute best. It was important that I put the high school coaching aside for a couple years um, and really just learn and evolve as, as a school leader. Um, I was able to devote so much more time and energy into staying after school late, getting to school early without having the work commitment of high school soccer. Um, so now that I am more experienced within my career and I feel a lot more confident as a school leader, I was looking for the opportunity to get back into the high school uh, high school scene. And I think Norwin was the right place for, for multiple reasons. First and foremost, uh, I think that the 
community and the players are looking for a fresh start. Um, and I am a completely unbiased third party. They don't know me. I don't know them. Um, and so I'm looking forward to be going in with a fresh set of eyes, a fresh set of ears, and just giving every single girl the opportunity to show me what she can do. Um, so I think that, that going to a really new place um, is a great opportunity for, for me and for the players themselves. Um, I was also looking for a, com a competitive program, a program where I could really um, try to broaden my horizons as a coach. Um, the experience I had at Penn Hills was phenomenal. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I absolutely loved those players, their families in the school district more than anything. Um, however, I worked with a lot of players that didn't have a ton of experience. I worked with a lot of players that um, I was teaching them some more of the fund fundamentals of the game. I'm so excited for the opportunity to work with a program with players that are training at a high level all year round, um, players that this sport is their passion. They're looking to play it at the highest level. They're looking for the opportunity to play in college. Um, I'm excited to you know, be able to compete in quad A with the best of the best. And I really believe that, you know, with all the things that I learned at Penn Hills and through my club experiences, um, I will have the opportunity to really put put the Norwin girls in a position to be super, super successful. Well, to, to build upon that, uh, obviously Norwin is a program that has a tradition unlike very few in the WPIAL. Up until a couple of years ago, the program had made the playoffs every single year, but just four wins in 2023. So what are the short-term goals? And then what are the long-term goals that you have with the Knights? I think my short-term goals are really to build buy-in. Um, I want every single girl and every single stakeholder to feel invested in the program. I want them to be excited to be there. I want the energy to be high. I want the work rate to be high. Um, I want to really set a clear like mission and vision. This is who we are. This is what we believe in. This is the community that we're trying to to create. And I want all of my players and families to invest in that because it's going to take everybody being on board, um, rowing in the same direction in order for us to get the program back where we want it to be. Um, it can't be something that half of us are invested in. We all have to do it all together. So short term, I'm really looking forward to building some camaraderie, building relationships with the girls and families, earning their trust um, and, you know, getting and seeing that I can trust them as well. I think once we have that foundation of respect and rapport, we are going to be able to, to build from there. Um, I think, I think long-term, um, you know, looking at the strength of schedule this season in comparison to the last couple of seasons, um, I think that we, we have the opportunity um, just by nature of some of the realignment to, to, uh, play some teams we can be really, really competitive with. Um, I have no bold declarations. I have no, we're going to win this many. We're going to do this type of thing. Um, but long term, I want to see the goals, the girls get better every single day. Um, I hope that when we look at section games, we do better the second time we play a team than we did the first, first time. I hope that when we look on a game by game basis, we play better in the second half than we did the first half. Um, I just want to be able to see the girls grow and improve every single day. Um, and then hopefully by the end of the season, we're, we're coming into form, we're playing the best we've played yet. And then maybe hopefully we can make it to the playoffs and make a little run. Well, Ashley, uh, certainly uh, we appreciate you taking the time. Congrats once again on becoming the head coach and good luck this season and beyond. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.